Hi friends, welcome to Curie Electronics. This is the second part of VSSC 2017 Technician B Electronics question part. So if you have not seen the first part, please watch it. This is the second part. Second part, we will start from question number 26. The zeros of the quadratic polynomials x square plus 7x plus 12 are. So the polynomial is x square plus 7x plus 12 equals 0. This is a polynomial. This can be factorized. So we will write it as 7 x square plus 3 x plus 4 x plus 12 equal to 0. Now uh, x we will take it out common from the first two terms and it becomes x plus 3 plus here I will take it out 4 again it becomes x plus 3 equal to 0. Now we can write it as x plus 4 multiplied by x plus 3 equals 0. That is x equal to minus 4 comma x equal to minus 3. So option B is the answer. Now you can simply see what numbers gives you take x What now if you multiply see when this this should be the multiplication of x whatever you are writing here x plus c x plus three you write x plus three and x plus four when you multiply these two you will get it twelve twelve when you add three plus four when you add we will get seven that's how you can find it out easily when you multiply you should get the last number that is without any x coefficient and when you add you should get the middle number sign also you have to take care question number 27 <coughs> if a triangle abc is a right angle at c then the value of cos a plus b that is we have a triangle so he said it is a right angle at C. So this is this will be obviously A and B. Now for a triangle total angle C plus angle A plus angle B has to be 180 degree is all of us knows. So sum of sum of A plus B equal to sum of angle A plus angle B equal to 90 degree 90 degree so question is the value of cos a plus b is what is cos 90 degree cos 90 degree equal to 0 and cos 0 equal to 1 so the answer is option a cos 90 degree equal to 0 question number 28 28 so this is a op arm circuit and the mine the negative terminal is directly connected to ground and there is no feedback resistors input is applied to the positive terminal so this is this this terminal this is a reference this ground is acting as a reference so the this op amp is configured as a comparator, comparator, comparator. So, what the we are, the output we will get is a square wave or a rectangular wave. So, the, uh, here the answer is option B, square wave. What is the two complement of minus seven? To find the complement of a number. 
first this 7 we have to convert it to binary it's a 4 bit number so 0 1 1 1 we will get 7 now we have to take the 1's complement to take the 1's complement we have to invert it that is 1 0 0 0 to get the 2's complement we have to add 1 to it so 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 is the 2's complement of minus 7 1 0 0 1 Question number 30. Question number 30. If 52 divided by 4 equal to 10, the base of the number system is. Base, we have to find the base of the number system. So what we have given? 54 divided by 12. 54 divided by 4. 54. No, sorry, sorry. 52 divided by 4 equals 12. Now we have to find the base of this number system. So this we can write it as, we can write it like this. 5 multiplied by x to the power 1 plus 2 multiplied by x to the power 0. Divided by 4 multiplied by x to the power 0 equals to 1 multiplied by x to the power 1 plus 2 multiplied by x to the power 0. Now if you simplify, you will get the base of the number. So we simplify what comes, this comes to 5x. What is x to the power 0? x to the power 0 equal to 1. Any number to the power 0 equal to 1. 2 divided by 4 equals 1 plus no one x plus 2 now if you cross multiply we'll get it i'll write it here i'll write it here that is 5x plus 2 5x plus 2 equals this 4 i am taking it here that is 4x plus 8. 5x minus 4x equals 8 minus 2. These two I have taken to the right side. So it is x equals 6. So 6 is the base of numbers in this number system. So the answer is option C. If you have any doubts in these questions, you can put it in the comment section or WhatsApp me. So I will clarify. Question number 31. Any combinational circuit can be designed using only. We have two universal gates. Uni, like a universal studio movie. Similar way, we have two universal gates. That is. NAND and NAND NAND and NOR these two gates are known as universal gates using these gates we can make any other gate so the answer is option D X NOR gate question number 32 in the figure shown D0 and D1 are digital inputs. S is a control input. Y is the output. When S equal to 0, Y equal to 0. When S equal to 0, Y equal to 0. When S equal to 1, Y equal to 1. The given combination circuit is. See, this is a multiplexer circuit. Okay. Multiplexer means many to one many to one many inputs lines will be there and output will be only one for a so two data lines are there when it is zero 
0 and 1. This data line is data 0, this is at 1. S. S is a select line and these are the two data lines. D0 and D1 are the two data lines. D1 are the two data lines. When S equal to 0, D0 is selected. When S equal to 1, D1 is selected. So this is a two input multiplexer. Two inputs are there. Two, one output is there. Many to one. It is a two input multiplexer. Question number 33. The functional difference between an SR flip-flop and JK flip-flop is that SR flip-flop and JK flip-flop are similar. The only one difference is that the JK flip-flop can accept 1-1 one, one input. 1-1 one, one input. So, uh, here option C is the answer. JK flip-flop accept both inputs as 1. In SR flip-flop, this 1-1 one, one is forbidden state. In SR, 1-1 one, one, that is X and O x and y input x a b take it as a b normally you will take it as a b it's an invalid invalid input or forbidden input but forbidden d d n a forbidden input that is the only difference between the jk flip-flop and the sr flip-flop is that sr flip-flop cannot accept 1-1 one, one as the input, but JK can accept. <coughs> Question number 34. Minimum number of flip-flops required for a mod 12 ripple counter. If we have 2 to the power n minus 1 equal to number of counts can be performed. Now if I take Three, three flip-flops. N is the number of flip-flops. Number of flip-flops. Number of flip-flops. Now if I take N equal to 3, we will take N equal to 3. How many, what is the maximum count I can count? That is 2 to the power N minus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power 3 minus 1. That is 8 minus 1, I can count from 0 to 7. 0 to 7, I can count. Can count from 0 to 7. But total 8 states it can count. Okay. Counter can start from how many counts? 2 to the power n counts. Counts. Counts now? States. Counter start from 0. 0 to 7. Now if I take 4 flip-flops, 2 to the power n minus 1, I can count 4, I will take it, n equal to 4. And what comes? 2 to the power 4 equals 4 minus 1 equal to 16 minus 1, that is 15. Up to 15 I can count, 0 to 15 I can count, 0 to 15 I can count. So this is, this. So this is a mod 12, mod 12, mod 12 means mod, mod 12. Once the count reaches 12, we will reset the counter. So the answer is 4 full flops are required to build the triple count. 12 bit mod 12 ripple counter. Question number 35. Find the resolution of a 10-bit analog to digital counter, AD, analog to digital convert, converter for an input of 10 volt. Okay. A resolution means what? 1 bit, what is the 1 bit value? Ten, see, 2 to the power 10. That is 1024 bits are there. In that 1 bit, what is the voltage? 
what is the voltage for one bit change that is the resolution now i'll write it resolution resolution equals full scale voltage full scale voltage divided by 1000 2 to the power n minus 1 n minus 1 so it is 10 volt is the full scale 2 to the power 10 equal to which equal to 2 to the power 10 minus 1 which equal to 10 volt divided by 1024 minus 1 which equals 10 divided by 1023 now what it comes see if you closely watch these numbers there's a 10 right, this is 0.997 this you have to calculate in the exam you have to calculate we will try it out now 10 i will take this as 1000 23 i'll just omit it 1000 i'll take it now what happens I'm getting 0 0.01 volt. If I multiply by 1000, what I will get? 0 0.01 multiplied by 0 0.01 multiplied by 1000 to convert into millivolt. So I will get 10 millivolt. But 10 millivolt is not there in the answer. But the nearest value, which is the nearest value? 9.77 millivolt answer is option b but you should not use this method if these numbers are close see 9.77 if this also 10.2 then you should not go for this okay if if there is a difference of 10 10 multiplication 10 difference means multi in the order order 10 difference is there that is first number is 10 then is 100 or 1000 10000 in such numbers are there we can simplify the calculation like this because you have to solve the questions one minute one question i think max not more than that okay guys so question number 36 which of the following act as a switching switching regulator what what is a switching regulator that is SMPS as switch mode power supply or DC to DC converter. Converter. This should work in high frequency, nearly I think around uh, 500 kilohertz. Nowadays 500 kilohertz to 1 megahertz. So this frequency should work. So for switching you can't use relays at that speed. Inductor also you can't use, resistor also you can't use. So the answer is option C, transistor. Question number 37. How many RC stages are used in RC phase shift oscillator? Now what is RC phase shift oscillator? See we have a transistor. To make an fair oscillator we need one amplifier. amplifier then to it we have to provide the positive feedback so this is the vcc and this is the ground and this is this capacitor also we need to bypass it okay this is the a biasing part of the Amplify. Now we need a feedback network. So this is the RC feedback network. There is one now. Oh, okay. Oh, let me see the eraser. Oh, eraser. I don't know why this eraser is not coming. I don't know how to take it. Check it out. Yeah. So. okay now okay we have one capacitor c and r again it's a rc phase shift oscillator c and r again one more c and r this is the rc phase shifting network 
okay this is the rc phase shifting network now what do you do so this network should provide 190 degree this network should provide 180 degree phase shift 180 degree 180 degree phase shift phase shift phase shift now each this rc combination is selected in such a way that these provides 60 degree these values are selected in such a way that this provides 60 degree 60 degree of phase shift and what you have to do you have to take this output we have to give the feedback so this output is take this feedback is taken and given to the base now it will act as a oscillator now if you want output where you will take you can take the output here with reference to ground so this is a rc phase shift oscillator so how many how many rc cells are used in rc phase shift oscillator the answer is three stages now you understood so each stage will provide 60 degree of phase shift now what is the frequency of this rc phase shift oscillator 1 divided by 2 pi rc in multiplied by root 6 this is the equation for rc phase shift oscillator so guys we will go to the next question mm, question number 38 question number 38 find the unknown resistance resistance value in the given circuit give the given the bridge is balanced see this is based on Wiesel's bridge okay for Wiesel's bridge i have created another video oh, you could go there and watch i'll put it in the i button okay if you see there in the i button you could see it's, it comes in the suggestion buttons if you are more interested to know about Wiesel's bridge you could watch that video now now this way is all when when Wiesel, balanced Wiesel bridge comes what I will do, I will, I will take this as left and right side, left and right side of the galvanometer. Left side top, 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 to top by bottom. Okay, top by bottom. That means, top, what is the left side top value? 25. What is the bottom value? Think about your uh, face and feet. Mm -hmm. Don't think anything else. So from top to <clears throat> from top 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 value is 25. What is the bottom resistor value? 17. This ratio should be equal to right right top that is 15 divided by question mark is there. This question mark I have put it at x. So you have to take the left side arm ratio and right side arm ratio. Uh, top side resistor divided by this divided by this is divided by this similar way okay now i might you might have understood how i am taking it okay now now we have to simplify it 25 if i cross multiply i'll get 25x that is i am cross multiplying it 25x equal to 17 divided by 17 multiplied by 15 so x equals what 17 multiplied by 15 divided by 25 5 3 3 fives are 15 which equal to 51 divided by 5 51 divided by 5 equals to 10.2 10.2 10 10.2 so when this resistor is 10.2 ohms this bridge is balanced the bridge is balanced Question number 39. Identify the device whose symbol is given below. This looks like a transistor, but it's not a transistor. So what is the symbol for transistor? This is a symbol for transistor. This is what transistor? Arrow is going out. Out, out, out. That is NPN. 
this is this which transistor how do we draw pnp transistor this is a pnp transistor it is pnp it is coming towards the base it's a pnp transistor so this is not an npn transistor this is not a pnp transistor but it is a insulated gate bipolar transistor the answer is option d insulated gate here see there's a gate there's a separation between the gate gate and the collector and emitter so it's a insulated gate base resistor igbt insulated gate bipolar number 40 in an SCR, in the latching current is in an SCR, in the latching current is dash the holding current. In an SCR, the latching current is dash the holding current. In an SCR, a SCR, how the we'll just to see what is an SCR. SCR is like a PN, PN, PN device con PN, PN diode connected back to back. Okay, this is what SCR. This is a symbol we will draw it as. Symbol is like this. So this is our gate. This is our cathode, and this is our oh, here one line is anode. This, now this is the junction one in an SCR three junctions are there with J2 and J3. Okay, this is the anode, cathode. Here comes the gate. In this one, holding latching current is greater than the holding current. To latch something, we need more current than the holding. Question number 41. What which of the following is a decayed counter? Oh, decayed counter is what you have to find out. The answer is option B. Okay, 7490 that is the number that is a decayed counter. Decayed counter means it can count 10, you can uh, club it and make it as 20. Decayed counter is a decayed counter. And we will see what is other IC. Other is a 7491. This is a shift register. Shift register. 7491 is a shift register. Uh, then we have 7493. 7493 is a 4 bit binary counter. Binary counter. Binary counter. Binary counter. Uh, then what is there 7492 I don't know okay uh, but uh, 7400 7400 what is 7400 I see it does it's a NAND gate okay NAND gate uh, if, if so 7408 this is NOR gate it's supposed to be NOR gate 7408 no, no, it is AND gate. It's AND gate, okay? 7408 is AND gate. 7404 is NOT gate. NOT gate. Then 7402. It's a NOR gate. It's a NOR gate. This is all you're supposed to know. Okay. And uh, any other is? Yeah, 7432 one I see there. 74. 3 2. This is the OR gate. OR gate. And similarly, there is 1474121. One. It's a mon one shot or mono stable. Mono stable multi vibrator. Multi vibrator. Multi vibrator. And triple five. What is the triple five? That's a timer IC. Timer IC. Timer IC. Okay, now we will go to the next question. Question number 42. Question number 42. Assume that a 4 bit serial in serial out. 4 bits, no. 
so this a four bit out one two four bit serial in serial out this is the input so register four bit input shift out register is initially clear register is initially clear means all are zero all are zero bits are shifted in from left we wish to store the nibble one one zero what will be the four bit pattern after the second clock pulse so when you give each clock pulse this will be controlled by a clock pulse it will shift now what is the input one one zero zero now when you shift now okay we'll shift it and see we will shift it and see one two four one two four one two four one two four first clock pass first clock pass when you apply first clock pass what will be there this one this one goes out and we will be having one zero goes out and this zero gets it one zero comes in then we will get zero 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 the second clock pulse again one more zero comes out now two zeros are out it will be zero zero again zero zero and the third shift one two three third shift three zeros are out one two three uh, our third pulse our one has come in one has come in and again the fourth 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 clock pulse fourth clock pulse what happens one more one has come in so here here what goes out it will be four zero 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 four zeros has gone out now in place of that this number has got shifted so after second pul pulse here what is the answer after second pulse all the, what will be the four bit pattern it is answered the zero zero but if it is after fourth clock pulse it will be one one zero one more thing i like to tell you now see left shift left shift by left shift once equal to multiplication by two right shift right shift by one bit equal to division by two this also they could ask sometimes question number 43 question number 43 find the current through 3 ohm resistor find the current through 3 ohm resistor so here is a now what is the current division rule this is just simple question we have to apply current division rule we want the current through 3 ohm resistor so, so we will apply the current division rule current division rule as the current division rule we have to take the opposite resistor that is 1 ohm divided by sum of the resistors that is 1 plus 3 it should be multiplied by the total current that is 8 amps of 8 amps is coming so 1 divided by 4 multiplied by 8 we'll get 2 here so it is 2 amps 2 amps current flow through 3 ohm resistor and the answer is option b Question number 44. Find the voltage across 24, 24 ohm resistor. Find the voltage across 24 ohm resistor. 24 ohm is connected here. Okay, now we have to find the voltage here. This is just like a 
this uh, circuit can be simplified how it can be simplified these two resistors are in parallel turn ohm resistor parallel with 24 ohm resistor if we simplify what we get rt equal to r1 multiplied by r2 divided by sum of two resistors r1 r2 so 12 multiplied by 24 divided by 36 12 plus 24 which equal to 12 multiplied by 24 upon 36 now we can simplify by if you divide by 12 it will be 3 this will be 2 no 1 1 be 1 8 3 sir 24 so we'll get 8 ohm so this circuit can be replaced like this we have 1 2 2 ohm and then we have 8 ohm 8 ohm and we are applying 10 volt here now this is, if, 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 this, this is the voltage we have to find out here what is the voltage here see because these two parallel resistors are parallel voltage is going in a parallel circuit voltage is same current will be different we have to find the voltage here now v equal to what it's a voltage divider rule so voltage divider rule what is there r2 divided by r1 plus r2 so this i am taking it as r1 this is the r2 and this is the r1 then i am then the total voltage is 10 volt i'll write it here so which equals what is the value of r2 8 divided by r2 8 plus 2 that is 10 multiplied by 10 10 10 cancels it comes to 8 volt so the answer is option a 8 volt <coughs> Question number 45. Primary winding of a transformer is always low voltage winding. Option B is always a high voltage winding. Option C can be either low voltage winding or a high voltage winding. Always has higher number of turns compared to secondary winding. The transformer can be step up or step down or it can be a 1 is to 1 transformer. So the answer option is C. The number of turns can vary. It can be same as the secondary, more than secondary, less than secondary, such way. <coughs> Question number 46. Question number 46. A 12 volt battery is rated 48. 48 H battery. So it can provide 48 amps of current for 1 hour or 1 amps of current for 48 hours 48 hours now what is the question if it must deliver an average of 2 amps how long will the battery last before it needs recharging now if you draw 2 amps of current from this what happens the time 2 amps of current if you draw it will work for 24 hours 24 hours so the answer is option D 24 hours question number 47 if an, an AM receiver is tuned to 85 855 kilohertz uh, and IF is 450 kilohertz what is the local oscillator frequency whatever the local oscillator local oscillator frequency equal to IF frequency plus tuned frequency plus tuned what is the IF frequency 455 kilohertz what is the tuned frequency 855 this equals what it comes 1200 855 plus 455 10 
11, 13, 1310. So the answer is 1310 kilohertz. Question number 48. For a transistor beta equal to 50, the voltage depth drop across 1 kilo ohm resistor which is connected in the collector circuit is 1 volt. VBB equal to here this is 0 0.7 volt. Find the base current for the current for common emitter configuration. What is the relation between base current and collector current? IC equal to beta times IB. Okay. Do we know IC? IC we can find out how where is selling 1 volt is across RC which equal to B divided by RC this way so equal to beta times IB what is V 1, 1 volt divided by 1 kilo ohm which equal to beta times IB now beta also we know what is this as 1 divided by 1 kilo 1 kilo ohm equal to 1 milliamps of current is flowing this IC equal to 1 milliamps once we know IC beta also we know 50 now we can find out IB IB equal to 1 milliamps divided by 50 now if you see the question 1 milliamp question the option is 1 milliamp option B 20 microamps 200 microamps 2 microamps now this is the collector current so no we know this is not the answer but others are micro microamps so what we will do we will convert 1 milliamps to 1 microamps so it is 1000 microamps equal to 1 milliamps divided by 50 now if we do 100 divided by IB equal to 100 divided by 5 that is 20 micro amps okay this question looks a little bit uh, bigger but it's simple so the answer is option b question number 49 in an fet in an fet when drain voltage equals the pinch of voltage then drain current dash with the increase in drain voltage the drain current remains constant. I am not going in detail. I am planning some 3 4 lectures on FET. Question number 50. For the short for the circuit shown, find the output voltage for an input voltage of minus 1 volt. Well, now, first of all, what is the circuit? This is a non inverting amplifier non inverting non inverting amplifier ampli non inverting amplifier for a non inverting for amplifier what is the voltage gain voltage gain equal to 1 plus rf by ri multiplied by v input voltage now what is the feedback this is the rf this is the ri so 1 plus what is the RF value 10 10k multiplied by 1k both are similar units so it will get cancelled what is the V in P is telling minus 1 volt now if we simplify this will be 11 multiplied by minus 1 volt so the answer is minus 11 volt the answer is option A <coughs> option A so friends I hope all of you, uh, these videos are useful for you. If you are not seeing the first part, please watch it. That first part is more, more concept and more uh, questions are there to learn concepts. I will upload a third part next week. So, thanks for watching. Thank you. See you soon.